advisor at Ripple, went on Twitter to confirm that the XRPL-based platform for the central bank digital currency serves as the basis for the CBDC pilot programs of four different regions and countries, with Colombia being the fifth and most recent country. Welfare said that the pilots in Hong Kong, Bhutan, Palau, and Montenegro are based on XRPL. This makes Ripple even more of a leader in CBDCs. Colombia has recently been added to this list. Welfare's tweet showed how Ripple's CBDC platform is becoming more and more known as a game-changer in the world of finance. You may remember that Ripple and Pierce's technology recently worked with Colombia's central bank to improve the country's payment system, which uses CBDC. After Ripple's new CBDC solution, central banks all over the world have shown a lot of interest in the XRPL-based solution, which has led to joint projects in many places. Along with Colombia, Hong Kong, and Montenegro are some of the most recent places to use Ripple's XRP Ledger CBDC platform for testing projects. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority started a CBDC test program for the EHKD with 16 banks and payment companies last month. The program is looking at different ways to use the EHKD. Big banks like HSBC and Hang Seng Bank, as well as tech companies like Ripple, Alipay, Visa, and MasterCard, will take part. The goal of the program is to get as many people interested in a possible EHKD as possible. To do this, an expert group has been put together to look into things like privacy and interoperability. Similarly, the Central Bank of Montenegro approved Ripple as a partner in its CBDC pilot program. Based on what CryptoBasic said, Ripple teamed up with the Royal Monetary Authority of Putin in September 2021 to test CBDC. Ripple also made deals with the Republic of Palau that were similar. By using Ripple's CBDC platform, these places want to use the XRP ledger speed, scale, and security, which are unmatched. People have learned a lot about how blockchain-based CBDCs could be useful. Luring entities that think ahead. Please remember to subscribe to our station and also hit that bell. To be the first person to know what's going on with XRP. XRP vs. SEC Update Mark Fagel, who was the SEC's regional director, thinks that the Commission and Ripple Labs Incorporated will soon end their long-running legal fight. Fagel went on Twitter to say that U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres, who is in charge of the case, had ruled that the in a few days, the judge in the case will make a summary judgment ruling. Fagel commented on the reaction to a Twitter thread by Mr. Huber, a crypto sleuth who goes by an alias and is a top influencer in the XRP community. Mr. Huber said something about the delay in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit's final decision. He said that if Judge Torres' summary judgment decision takes even longer to come out, it could strengthen the case that public opinion affected her decision. The XRP community member also said that a longer wait in making a decision could add to the confusion, which the two sides could use as a point of contention. The fact that a court put them in a certain category is a plus for everyone's fair notice case. Mr. Huber added, Mr. Huber asked John Deaton, Jeremy Hogan, and Fagel, among other lawyers, for their thoughts. Fagel responded to the thread by saying that he prefers not to speculate, but that he expects the president judge to make her summary judgment ruling in the next few days. I try not to guess, but I think a decision will be made in the next few days, Fagel said. He said that even though the decision doesn't come in a few days, there is no reason to think that the delay is due to something other than the fact that the case is complicated. Also, Fagel said that he doesn't understand what Mr. Huber meant by greater confusion. Fagel has spoken out about the case between the SEC and Ripple. He sometimes gets into heated arguments with top lawyers who support XRP, such as John Deaton, Bill Morgan, and Jeremy Hogan. During a Crypto Law live cast on June 14, 2023, Fagel joined attorneys Deaton and Hogan to talk about Hinman's letters that had just been made public. As was reported yesterday, Fagel said that Hinman's emails don't contain any bonk shells. He also said that the papers won't have a big effect on the lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple. That's what I think is most important, Fagel said. 
There's nothing in this that tells you that the SEC's view on whether or not Ripple broke the law by making an offering is wrong. It's interesting to see that Hogan, who was also a guest on the show, had similar thoughts. Also, in a recent analysis, A. Gregg, a well-known crypto expert, talked about XRP's journey in what he calls the Bent Fork Roadmap. XRP's trip through what he calls the Plan for Bent Fork. The plan has four tracks, each of which shows a different stage in the market cycle for XRP. On the Bent Fork plan, this is the best thing that could happen for XRP. Agrag thinks that the price of XRP could hit about $15. This would be a 30x increase from what it is worth now, or a 30-25% increase. The expert also pointed out that XRP has stayed in a red-labeled falling wedge in 2021. He said that if XRP comes out of this falling wedge, it could get enough support to make a breakthrough. But he stressed that to do so would take unwavering determination. Still, if XRP can pull off this rise, Egrag thinks that the result will be a huge price increase that could affect the market as a whole. Egrag says that until this expected rapid rise happens, the price of XRP may stay in a certain range or even drop. Instead of being disappointed, analyst tells market players to think about, this is a good time to buy something. Right now, the price of XRP is going down and it has fallen below the psychological support level of $0.50. On June 14, this was the first time in over two weeks that XRP finished below this level. Since then, the asset's price hasn't gone back to where it was. Egreg said that the bulls and bears are currently fighting over XRP within the red-labeled falling wedge that was already stated. On June 14, XRP fell to $0.46, but it quickly went back up. Even though the asset has recovered, it is still worth less than $0.48. It is currently worth $0.04,793. Will there be a decision in the SEC's favor? Now the big question of the day is whether or not the SEC will win. Please remember to subscribe to our station and also hit that bell. To be the first person to know what's going on with XRP. Aaron Kaplan, who started and is co-CEO of the cryptocurrency exchange Prometheum, has recently backed the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Most people in the community have been critical of the Prometheum co-CEO. Some say Kaplan is biased because he didn't point out the differences between the LBRI and Ripple cases. Crypto Law, a U.S. news site for law and regulatory news about digital assets that was started by attorney John Deaton has the same idea. Crypto Law says that Kaplan only cares about making the SDC happy because he doesn't understand anything about the Ripple case. The information I got from the SEC staff about the speech doesn't support the idea that the token is a security. Neither the cases he brought up nor the Hinman speech or the advice he gave to support the idea that the token is a security. Noted, Crypto Law. It's important to note that Kaplan has kept supporting the way the U.S. SEC does things. When he spoke to the House Financial Services Committee earlier this week, Kaplan backed Gary Gensler's policies as SEC chair for the most part. At a hearing held by Congress on June 13, insiders and experts talked about the best way to control the markets for digital assets. Kaplan was the last person in the line of witnesses, which was interesting. In contrast to what other witnesses said, Kaplan agreed with Gensler and said that the crypto business can be regulated by the securities laws that are already in place. When Kaplan spoke in favor of the SEC, he and his company got a lot of press. The Blockchain Association used the Freedom of Information Act to ask for Prometheum-related records from the SEC yesterday. This was done because of his growing fame. XRP Conclusions Guys, this video has come to an end. If you liked it, make sure to like the video, follow it, and hit the bell to get notifications. This helps me a lot with how YouTube works. Also, by showing this movie to as many people as possible, you can help them learn just as much as you have. Let's tell everyone about this, guys. If you're a real fan of cryptocurrency, don't miss any of our posts. We'll talk about the latest news that affects us all as a group tomorrow.